Assalamualaikum and very good morning. My name is Muhammad Tanya bin Hasmin. I'm from AT11048. I'm doing this video presentation for the course AGR 244, Pest Management. And my topic for this video presentation is Pest of Oil Pump, Rats. Let's continue. I have seven sections in my presentation. The first one is Introduction. What is Oil Pump? The second one is Problem. What is Rats? The third one is product. What are its functions? The fourth one is pros and cons of the product. And the fifth one is the cost of that product. And the sixth one is the conclusion and the last part. Oil palm or its scientific name, Aliskinesis, is an African tree of the palm family Aricacia used for oil. Oil palms are widely found in their native west and central Africa, as well as in Asia and Indonesia. The oil pump has a single stem and grows into a height of around 20 meters or 66 feet. It bears numerous small blooms clustered on short branches, which grow into a cluster of oval fruits measuring 4 cm or 1.6 inches in length. When the fruits are matured, they are black with the red dark base and have a single oily seed known as the kernel. In addition, Palm oil is extracted from the fruits and used to make soap, cosmetic, and biofuel, as well as to process steam plate and coat iron plates. Finally, oil palm is a major crop in Malaysia. Retus SPP, or also known as rats, are a major pest in palm oil industry. They devour the leaf bases of immature palm trees, occasionally destroying them. Rats consume the maturing fruits in the bunches of mature palms, inflicting harm on that tree. Because part of the oil is wasted when three bunches are sold at the mill, a deduction will be made. And this will cause the oil palm plantation to suffer from the yield loss of oil palm. Rats break quickly, therefore a small colony can quickly grow into a big one. This is the problem in our plantation crops. As a result, it is critical to keep the rat population under control. This is my innovative product. It is called Autonomous Pest Drone. As its name suggests, it is a drone that can be used to reduce the population of rats in the oil palm plantation. This drone is suitable for this task because it has a lot of features that can be used to catch the rats. The features of this drone are small body drone that's suitable for a small and narrow place, deployable affordable dome cage that had been installed in this drone, infrared camera and sensor that's suitable for nighttime operation, Terran radar that have been used to avoid obstacles in the plantation. It also has a features of chemical control, which is pesticide tank, pesticide palm, and nozzle have been installed in this drone. And the pesticide tank can be deattached from this drone for refill purposes or cleaning purposes. This drone is using a electric source for its energy. It is has been controlled by using the drone controller or it also can be monitored by using your phone. This drone has been installed the solar panel for the purposes of reducing the uh, electric energy. So, this drone is an eco friendly drone that can be used in the oil palm plantation. Let's take a look at the detail of features for this drone. The first one is body of this drone. As I mentioned before, this drone has a small body. It has been made by the carbon fiber material. This carbon fiber material is a IP67 water and dust resistant. It had been chosen because it a 
has a lightweight properties. And this carbon fiber is a damage resistant and suitable for the heavy labor at the oil pump plantation. This drone has been designed for affordable drone. This is a picture that suitable for a storage of this drone. This drone is also have a cage cartridge slot that can be used to install the foldable cage dome. The next one is the propeller. This propeller of this drone is made by the tapered carbon fiber tip. This tapered carbon fiber tip has been chosen because it produces less noise and it will not disturb the labor or other thing in the oil pump partition. This tapered carbon fiber tip or this propeller has a more maneuverability and it also have a damage resistant property. The next one is drone motor. The example for this drone motor is hobby made quadcopter kit motor. It is a brushless motor. It is the best choice for FPV QAV quadcopters heavy 250, 210, and 180 size range and it is suitable for a small drone. It has a features like or benefit of impressive ascension system, rapid cooling system, longer battery life with high efficiency and more maneuverability, low torque for faster spin and less noise. This drone motor is very suitable for this task. The next one is drone flight control. This example of drone flight controller is DJI NASA MV2. It has a features and benefits like efficient drone control, Autonomous function, so this drone is an autopilot drone and it also has a GPS module. So this drone can be monitored, navigate by using a phone or its controller. The next features for this drone is the batteries. This drone is an electric drone. So it using a battery to power up this drone. The battery that have been chosen for this drone is a lithium polymer battery. It has a lightweight property and suitable for a small drone. It also a power efficient for longer battery life and it is also a chargeable battery. So it can be used for many times. The next feature is solar panel. The solar panel that have been chosen for this drone is a thin film solar panel. This solar panel is most versatile up to 18% of energy efficiency. So, this can be used to reduce the electric use for this drone. This solar panel is also a low-cost solar panel and it is suitable for this drone because it also has a lightweight property and suitable for the small drone. The next feature is infrared camera and sensor. The example for this infrared camera and sensors is a DJI Zenmuse H20. This infrared camera is a multiple wide angle vision sensor. So this drone can be used to monitor a wide range of oil palm plantation. These features improve the visibility and flight status of this drone. This infrared camera is also have a better night operation. This is because rats is a nocturnal animal. So a night operation is very crucial to overcome the population of rats. The next one is the Terran radar. This Terran radar is a spherical radar system and suitable to use on various terrain 
surface. This rotator radar enhances a precise terrain adaptation. This is because this radar can be used to recognize the type of terrain. It also has an omnidirectional obstacle sensing and avoidance. These features can be used to avoid an obstacle in the oil pump plantation. This is because oil pump plantation is a narrow place and have a lot of obstacle in there. So this drone need to be precise to avoid this obstacle. It also have a feature of automatic detour. This feature can help the drone to reroute this drone area to avoid an uh, obstacle. The next feature for this drone is a pesticide palm and nozzle. The palm of this drone is using a plunger design palm. This is because it is produced efficient maximum flow and suitable for the pesticide spreading job. The nozzle for this drone had two nozzles on each propeller. It is of a wet area spraying efficiency and the solenoid waste enable variable spraying frequency control as suitable for this drone job. The next one is cage and cage cartridge. The cage for this drone is a silicon material. The silicon material has been chosen because of its high electricity and durable and also it is a damage resistant material. The next one is cage cartridge. Cage cartridge for this drone is using a plastic material. This is because the plastic material is also a durable material and it can be used many times. The last feature for this drone is a pesticide tank. This pesticide tank is using plastic material because of its durability. It also have 5 liters pesticide tank. This 5 liter pesticide tank have been used because the drone is a small drone and cannot be used for a bigger pesticide tank. It also a detachable tank and it's also a low cost material. The next one is step to use the product. The first step is to prepare the drone. Firstly, the user needs to unfold the drone propeller and switch on the drone. The next step is mix the pesticide. The pesticide needs to be filled into the pesticide tank and then attach the pesticide tank to the drone. The next step is check the cage. This drone is using a handmade cage and the cage need to be full and put it in the cartridge before it can be reloaded in the cage slot in the drone. The next step is flying the drone. This drone is an auto pilot drone or autonomous drone. So the user did not need to control the drone. So the user only need to setting the drone route and check the drone status by using the app or the drone controller. The next one is store the drone. After the drone has been used, we need to store the drone properly. The first one is detach the pesticide tank from the drone and clean the tank. The next one is charge the drone battery. And the last one is fold the drone propellers and store the drone at a suitable place. The cost of the product is divided by three parts. The first part has four items. The first item is drone body. The quantity is one. Price per quantity is 85 ringgit multiplied by one equal to 85 ringgit total cost. The second item is drone motor. The quantity is four. So the price per quantity is 100 15 ringgit and 25 cent multiplied by 4 equal to RM 461 ringgit. The next item is drone flight controller. 
the quantity is 1. So the price per quantity is RM3316 ringgit and 33 cent multiplied by 1 equal to RM3316 ringgit and 33 cent. The last item for this part is lithium polymer battery. Quantity is 1. Price per quantity is RM150 ringgit multiplied by 1 equal to 150 ringgit. So the total cost for this part is RM4012 ringgit and 33 cent. The second part for this cost of the product has 4 items in it. The first item is solar panel. Quantity is 1. So, price per quantity is RM350 ringgit multiplied by 1 equal to RM350 ringgit. The second item is infrared camera and sensor. The quantity is 1. So, the price per quantity is RM421 ringgit and 68 cent multiplied by 1. So, the total cost for this infrared camera and sensor is RM421 ringgit and 68 cent. The next item is Terran radar. The quantity is 1. So price per quantity is 1,602 ringgit multiplied by 1 equal to 1,602 ringgit. The last item for this part is pesticide farm and nozzle. It has 4 quantity. So the price per quantity is RM175 ringgit multiplied by 4. So the total cost for this pesticide farm and nozzle is RM875 ringgit. So the total cost for this part is RM3248 ringgit and 60. The last part for this cost of the product has three items in it. The first item is case. This case is a handmade case. It uses liquid silicon as its material to make this case. It has five quantity. So the price per quantity is RM85 ringgit multiplied by five equal to RM425 ringgit. The next item is cage cartridge. Five cage cartridge can be reloaded in this drawer for one round. So the quantity is 5 for this cage cartridge. Price per quantity is RM60 ringgit and 80 cent multiplied by 5 equal to RM304 ringgit. And the last item is pesticide tank. Quantity is 1. Price per quantity is RM260 ringgit multiplied by 1 equal to RM260 ringgit. So the total cost for this part is 989 ringgit. The full total cost for this product is RM4012 ringgit and 33 cent plus RM3248 ringgit and 38 cent plus 908 nine ringgit equal to RM eight thousand two hundred fifty ringgit and one cent for this product. The advantages of this product. The first advantages is reduced labor. This drone can help to reduce the labor used for pest control in the oil palm plantation. The next one is affordable price. This is because this drone is more cheaper than other agriculture drone that have been sold in the market. The next advantages is easy to use. This is because this drone is an autopilot drone. So the user is only need to set the road for this drone and monitor the status of this drone. It can be also be controlled by the controller, but it is not necessarily for usual use. This next advantage is uh, by the motto anytime, anywhere. This is because this drone has a small body drone, so it is portable and 
easily to bring anywhere anytime to use because this drone has an infrared sensor that can be used in the night time so it can be used anytime even in the night time operation the last advantages for this drone is high efficiency this drone is using a control pass of the combination between cultural and chemical control so this combination can be used to efficiently reduce the population of red in the oil palm plantation these advantages for this product is the first one is pollution this drone is using a pesticide for controlling the pests in this oil palm plantation the spreading of pesticide may cause the pollution in the plantation so it is crucial to take note on this matter the next one is resistance the pests may develop resistance to the pesticide used by this drone this is because it using a broad spectrum pesticide to control the pests in this oil pump plantation the next disadvantage is hard to make as i mentioned before the case for this product is a handmade product or handmade case so the case is sometimes hard to make in the large quantity the next or the last disadvantage is low capacity this is a drone that has a small size body so it cannot bear a large size pesticide tank so the capacity for pesticide used in this drone is low rate low lower than other pesticide control agriculture drone so that's all for the advantages and disadvantages of this product lastly the red is one of the major pests that reduce oil palm production year after year in this oil palm industry this innovative product developed is intended to decrease the harm caused by the pest this is because if the pest if the pest was not controlled oil palm plantation would suffer significant crop losses affecting our country's economy finally this idea might be viewed as one approach to threaten our agriculture sector this is the reference used for this presentation thank you very much for listening on my presentation that's all from me thank you and assalamualaikum